An Iowa man has been convicted in two students shooting deaths at a Des Moines alternative school, but the jury found him guilty on lesser charges than what prosecutors were hoping for. In January, Preston Walls killed 16 year old Rashad Carr and 18 year old Gianni Dameron. He also hurt the center's founder. KCCI's Pepper Papora is here now and Pepper prosecutors were pushing for a guilty verdict for first degree murder. That's right, Scott. The jury convicted Walls of second degree murder, voluntary manslaughter and assault causing serious injury. The jury did not find him guilty of criminal gang participation or attempted murder. Now that the verdict is in, the focus is shifting to healing. A trial full of tense moments. I you get to, who who do you think on. you're talking hold, to? Hold on. Come to an emotional end. For 11 See, days, man, oh, two stories were laid out to the jury of doing? why Preston Walls killed Rashad Carr and Gianni Dameron. I want to know if you think it's justifiable to shoot three people, kill two of them, because you felt uncomfortable. I felt like they were going to kill me. I didn't. I felt like they were going to kill me. Now, a verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant, Preston Malik Walls, guilty of murder for the second degree. Less severe than the state prosecutors tried for, but still enough to put Walls behind bars. No one wins in this situation. Community activist Akeo Abdul Samad says there is an overarching sense of loss. When you lose a child, it's not going to be all right. Whether you lose them into incarceration or you lose them to death. It is not going to be all right. One key witness once working to prevent this fate. Will Keeps acted as a mentor and mediated conflict between Walls, Carr, and Dameron. These young people went to his school. He dealt with these young people every single day, all three of these young men. You know, so this is now something he has to live with. His injuries from the bullets, a reminder of the ones he couldn't save. I'm also hurting, but I'm angered. You know, understand, because we bury too many people in this community. It's time for us now to go forward and take this serious. Walls is expected to be sentenced the week of November 6th. Scott. Pepper, thank you.